call to me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. Jeremiah 33 verse 3. A blessed morning, my dear sisters in Christ. I am Lizelle, and some of you here in Women to Women know me as Zell. It has been nine years since Women to Women's weekly fellowship WOW Thursday started in 2015. And by the grace of God, I've been here since day one. I humbly stand before you with great awe and thanksgiving to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. My husband and I used to have different beliefs. He wanted me to share his beliefs to prevent any disagreement or tension in the family. He was hesitant for me to attend church and Bible study groups. Even homeschooling our children required a lot of consideration because we were the first in the family to take different paths to educate our children from the traditional setting. After praying for quite some time, my husband finally agreed to enroll our children in Homeschool Global, formerly known as the Master's Academy, as our new homeschool provider. I also enrolled my two children in a piano class, which took place every Thursday from 9 a.m. until 12 p.m. Their classes were held at CCF back then. Every morning, while waiting for my children to finish their piano class, I stayed in the cafeteria. I noticed some groups of parents of Life Academy students gathering together and a few groups of ladies having fellowship. I felt deep envy and wished that I could join them. Many times, I attempted to ask them if I could join, but for some reason, I failed to do so. As I continued to spend my quiet time with the Lord, He impressed upon my heart a yearning for a community like this, for me to be a part of. So, I pray for God for women that gathered for fellowship and studying God's words with a tea party where women can learn from one another and grow in faith together. I also prayed that the event would be held on Thursdays mornings so that I could conveniently attend where, while my kids were in their piano class. I prayed specifically for Thursday because we have a driver scheduled for us on that day who could take us to that fellowship in case the Lord would answer my prayer. Additionally, I prayed that I would be able to attend GLC 1 and 2 because I want to grow deeper in God's words. I wrote that prayer and hung it on on the board in my room. In the early year of 2015, one Sunday morning, my husband willingly dropped me off at CCF while he would stroll around Tien de Citas. While at CCF, I read the CCF Chronicle and an announcement caught my attention. It was about the first Wow Thursday Tea Party Fellowship scheduled for 10 a.m. in the morning. When I read it, an immense joy filled my heart and I said, Lord, this is my ministry. This is the ministry that you want me to be part of. In February of 2015, the first Wow 
Thursday tea party gathering began in this very same room. It is still so vivid to me until now. The atmosphere was incredibly welcoming with over a hundred ladies in attendance. That day filled me with so much joy. Like today's kickoff of the first speaker was Miss Diona who spoke on love that day. The following Thursday, I was there again. Remember when I prayed to attend GLC 1 and 2 and pinned that prayer on my board? When the host announced the upcoming topics for WOW Thursday, an announcement was about the upcoming GLC 1 session. And you know what, ladies? Through Women to Women, I was able to finish GLC 1, 2, and 3. After a year of attending WOW Thursday and completing my GLC 1, the Lord put another desire in my heart to serve Him. For six years, I serve in the praise and worship team. I also said to God, Lord, I think I'm ready to facilitate a group here. After months of prayers, the Lord answered me and he gave me eight ladies for me to disciple. There was one time that no one showed up to our table. I was a little discouraged and ashamed because when I look around, I was the only one at my table and no ladies attended that day. The Lord reminded me, Lizelle, would you still come and serve me even if nobody showed up? And that's where I learned the word commitment to serve the Lord and so I said to God that I would be committed to serving him even if only one lady came or no lady at all. I would still show up to serve him. With that perspective in mind and regularly praying with each lady that the Lord has placed in our table, the Lord honored my prayers. I witnessed the growth in the number of the ladies that the Lord brought to our group. I also witnessed the number of ladies who took the challenge to disciple other ladies. Our group has multiplied and now we have 90 groups being facilitated by ladies from our groups. These faithful women are also developing Timothys or potential D leaders who would someday facilitate Bible study groups of their own. When I started bringing my children to WOW Thursdays, they were very young. My older child was seven and my younger child was six years old at that time. Even at a young age, they participated in women to women's bridging events such as visiting elderly individuals abandoned by their families in one of the homes for the elderly. During one of these visits, my children played the piano for the Lolas and Lolas and even joined me here on stage to demonstrate a short play about the story of Dorcas. This is where they found and met friends. They finished their, C their GLC 1 course online during the pandemic and now they have their own table here they listen to the message and discuss it with other young ladies. Just last year, they publicly declared their faith through water baptism. And wait, there is more. With fervent prayer and as my husband witnessed God's transforming my life, especially in the area of submission to his authority as my husband, he eventually accepted Jesus as his Lord and Savior during the CCF Sunday service. Both of us are now part of Couples D Group, and he continues to transform and grow in faith and the knowledge about Jesus. 
even my mother who was so against my faith before but after my sister and I fasted and prayed for her my mom attended wow Thursdays and accepted Jesus as her Lord and Savior when I shared the gospel with her she even graduated GLC one here and was baptized during a retreat it has been amazing to see God transform not only my life but the lives of my family members praise God through wow I'm also reminded to continue sharing the good news with others I intentionally make friends with yayas and parents of my children's peers and schoolmates for me to share the gospel with them wow thursday is my second home i'm greatly blessed to have wonderful sisters in christ here who would pray and encourage me and i also learn a lot from them week after week session after session I praise God for all the spirit-filled speakers, learning materials, and discussion that helped me transform as a follower of Christ. My prayer in, is to continue walking faithfully and to finish well in the journey of our faith. And that many more ladies like me will be blessed through this ministry. All glory, praises, and honors belong to our God, to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.